the harp has a very sophisticated classical face. And to play a classical selection for us is Ala Yashneva. Uh, she's playing a piece by a French composer, Francois Dizy. And it's a very lyrical, song-like quality to it. And well, that's probably why the composer named it chanson, which is French for song. <laughs> chanson. I love to say that word, chanson. Chanson. <laughs> you try it. Chanson. Chanson. <laughs> 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 So now you know that the harp has many faces when you hear a Russian harpist playing a French song on an American harp. So now we're going to do a bit of backward facing um, for a bit of nostalgia uh, with Blue Moon. It's a swing tune from the 50s, which um, some of you may remember. Uh, None of us remembers this tune, but our parents remember it, and we remember them remembering him. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. 
one of the harp's most treasured faces is that of a beautiful companion to so many other instruments, including the human voice. And what better example than a song by American folk icon John Denver, featuring the expressive voice of Adrian Bridgewater. Perhaps love is like a resting place, a shelter from the storm. It exists to give you comfort. It is there to keep you warm. And in those times of trouble, seen and heard some of the various faces of the harp, what if we can started to combine some of them? Let's see what happens when we combine Beethoven with jazz, as demonstrated by Jackie's jazz hand. 